What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for a super quick video and today we'll be talking about 5 facts about Claymore that you must know. I know probably most of you guys have an idea about how it works already, like we all know you have to stand still for a certain amount of time before taking a shot, but in this one here I'll try to dig deeper into it. Like we'll answer questions like what's the exact time window you need to stand still? At what point will that timer start and finish? Is it the moment you catch the ball or the moment the ball leave the passer's hands? I'll answer questions like, do small movements like tiny steps like this one, or this catch animation when you press L2 can reset the timer? All those type of detailed questions. By the way, this one here is more of a recap of my video 10 months ago, but of course there will be some new info in here. And this one here won't have stats, so if that's the only one you're looking for, you can click off now if you want to, but if you want a quick recap plus some new info, you can stick around, it's not going to be that long anyway, so now let's get right into it. So now for the first one, how long you need to be standing still before the badge activates. It's going to be at least 1 second and the timer starts the moment you stop moving. For the next one, when does the timer stops? And here you can see it took around 1.7 seconds, which is more than 1 second before I received the ball. But how come the badge didn't activate? Yeah, it took 1.7 seconds, which is more than 1, but that's not where the timer ends. The timer will end the moment the shooter gets to this catching animation. In here, I stopped moving, timer starts, and after 0.3 seconds I made that animation, so that's less than 1 second, so that's why badge didn't activate. But in here, I stopped, took around 1.3 seconds which is more than 1 before I did that catch animation, so badge activated on this one. So it means that the gap between the moment you stop moving and the moment you got your hands ready for the catch animation must be at least 1 second. The air time of the ball while waiting for the catch is not counted. So if you leaked out on the fast break for a corner 3 like this one, don't expect Claymore to activate that much. I know it has the impression that you are waiting there long enough in these situations, but unfortunately, the air time of the ball is not counted. So don't get frustrated why Claymore is not activating in those sequences. And by the way, if you wait for a lot of time, that's okay, as long as it's more than one second. Now for the next one, what types of moves will reset the timer? In here you can see, if you move tiny steps, the timer will not reset. I was moving there split second before the pass, and I still activated Claymore Badge. Even when you press L2 to make that catch animation, it's not going to reset Claymore Badge as well. If you move too much though, like this one, then that's the time the timer will reset. Now for the next one, will bad catch animation prevent the timer from activating? Well, it depends on how bad it is. If it's not too bad like this one, Badge will still activate. But if it's this bad, then Badge will not activate. It will reset the timer. By the way, in terms of stacking with other badges, it will work with any other badges as long as their conditions were met, especially catch and shoot badge. Now for the next one, in terms of amount of boost, according to Mike Wang, the longer you stand still there, the better the boost, but the max boost will be around 4 seconds. So if you stay longer than 4 seconds, it will have the same boost as 4 seconds. Now for the rough recommendation, if you're a catch and shoot guy, this is the second badge to prioritize after catch and shoot. Catch and shoot will be more important because not all catch and shoot shots will activate claymore, but all claymore shots will activate catch and shoot. So in that logic, catch and shoot badge will have better frequency of activation. I know I don't have stats for this one, but I really recommend to push it to max if you're a catch and shoot guy, especially it is a cheap badge. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.